Hey, hey, NBA 2K, My League fans. It's Coach 2K back with another NBA 2K, My League expansion series video with those Cincinnati Lions. And in this episode, we're going to talk about my slider set that I'm using in this My League file. Had a request in the comments of the last video uh, asking if I would share the sliders that I'm using. And since this version of NBA 2K that I'm using, the servers are no longer online. Uh, I thought I'd walk through those real quick and talk about sliders uh, in general. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you how to do is how to watch other games that are going on in your league. And so I'm going to show you how to watch CPU versus CPU games. There's a game between the Pacers and the Bulls here. You can see they're tied in the standings 4-2 to two in record. And, um, you know, those teams are both in the Central Division. And the Pacers are led by Byron Dantley. And the Bulls are led by Rayshon Odin. Both those guys are top five scorers in the league. So I thought it might be a game worth watching. And so we're also going to check out the highlights from that game as the Lions have the day off in the file. So since they're not scheduled to play a game today, we're going to check in and have a live look in at another game. All right, so this is a slider set that I'm using. I'm just going to, you know, flip through it real quickly. If you want to use these sliders in uh, 2K19, just pause the video and um, you know that way you can get the actual slider settings. Now it is a Hall of Fame set that's been modified. Uh, I can't take credit for it. A guy named PSN Mike Marsh is the uh, guy that put these together. On Operation Sports, his username I think is Michaelopedia, and he's probably still posting there. Maybe uh, you can find a new slider set if you're using a different version of the game. I've modified it just a little bit. This is the best slider set that I've used. and I've really enjoyed it a lot with this particular roster. Now, I used to be a Hall of Fame default player and never wanted to change the sliders. In fact, I called the Operation Sports Forum Slider Nation for a long time because it just seemed like everybody wanted to change the sliders. And I think if you're gonna play, play users all the time, it makes sense to have a, you know, just default set that everybody uses. That way the floor is always 94 feet long, rim 10 feet off the floor. You're not like having a different set of, of uh, uh, slider set. So, but against the computer, uh, I've seen some benefits to it. And so if you want to do that, you know, you can take a look at this slider or other slider sets that you want to use. And they're not uh, uh, static. You may have to change them over time and decide, you know, hey, you may need to make a change or two. Like I did in the playoffs last year, I raised the CPU's offensive awareness and almost maxed out the defensive awareness uh, because I thought the game was getting a little bit too easy for me in the playoffs. Now, uh, in terms of how to watch other games in your league, what you got to do is go into your, you know, if you're only controlling one team, you need to go into the game of the two teams you want to watch and take control of those teams uh, instead of the CPU controlling them. And then uh, you need to go to one of the teams that's playing and then go to their calendar and play the game. And once you do that, I chose a day that I wasn't playing. That way I wouldn't screw up and accidentally play my game, you know, skip my game and have it sim. And then once you do that, you need to set the uh, controller to CPU in the middle there. And then you can just watch the game. And uh, it's a real nice way to do that. And then when you get, when you get done, you got to make sure you go back in and change your user control to no. Uh, that way you won't have to control those teams anymore. Now this game I want to watch is with the Pacers and the Bulls. Uh, Byron Dantley is the leading scorer for the Pacers. He's an all-star. Um, uh, I think first and second team awards there. You can see he's averaging 27 points a game, which is better than what he was doing last year. He's a stats sheet stuffer. He got kind of screwed in free agency last year because um, you know, he only was able to sign a one-year deal, got $12.6 million, when really he's a $25, $30 million player, probably needs to be on a max contract. So I'm interested to see what happens in the offseason this year. Now, Rayshon Odin, also an all-star, second-team all-NBA from UNLV. Guy is a monster, and um, he's not scoring as much as he was uh, this uh, past year, uh, but he's still putting up some stats. Now, this the game was interesting, I thought, because the small forward spot, which is where uh, Rayshon Odin plays, Detlef um, Jedevic was hurt, and also uh, the Juker, he was also hurt. So two of the starters for the Pacers were hurt, and two guys that might end up guarding 
Rayshon, so that left the defensive assignment to Joe Burzons. And if you watch my my original fictional My League series, I had control of the Pacers. I used Joe's, Joe Burzons, and I always made fun of him because he was such a weak player. So uh, my feeling was is that you know Odin was going to go off in this game. You can see a good play here is Cherry with the balls gets a slam dunk as uh, he gets found here and you can see another good play inside I think that's Pollard and uh, nice play here by Persons as he beats Gatson uh, second year player for the Pacers who's a really good player off the dribble and then Red picks off Warwick and he gets out in the open court and he dunks it and this game early uh, the Pacers jumped all over the Bulls early and the Bulls worked their way back in the game uh, but the Pacers had a lot of good plays. Kid's a really nice player in the file. And look at Warwick going to the rim, yeah, telling everybody to be quiet. But Daly is an awesome player. Uh, he's great off the dribble. He can he can do it all. I love the guy. And there's Odin in the transition, getting the slam dunk. And uh, here he's doing the fadeaway, taking advantage of Burzens. And I felt like uh, you can see here, first of all, Odin and Dantley, last season they were number two and number three in the league in scoring. You see <laughs> Odin go in. He misses it, but he finds Red all the way out there at the three-point line. He buries it, and uh, now the Bulls are winning. But look at this nasty dunk by Byron Daly. Uh, what a dunk by him. You can see him get off, uh, get into the lane here. and <laughs> Look how fired up. I don't remember which Bulls player that is, but man, they just needed to throw him out. It's like he got a upset at the call and they just can't get him under control but they didn't throw him out and uh, Danley hit the free throw and so it was a pretty tight game after the Bulls got back in it as Rayshon Holmes pretty good offensive rebound and dunk and Person gets inside with another dunk himself Warwick is a he is a great point guard he likes that I'm mean, gonna quiet the crowd uh, animation has a nice block by the Bulls, and they're going to get it to Odin, who's going to knock down the three and score. And here is Byron Danley going to find Warwick again with a nice slam dunk. I'd like to have Warwick on my team. I like his toughness. But look at this. A nice steal by Kidd. Kidd's going to get out in the open court. He's going to give the Pacers a lead with under five to go. And Odin finds Richmond, who finds Cherry, the open man, in the lane for an easy dunk. And it looks like the Pacers, or the Bulls, are going to pull away. But see my Bayo swatting it away inside. And uh, he'd do a great job defensively as Warwick spots up inside the line. And uh, the Pacers are now down one. But look at Danley inside, getting an offensive rebound, doing uh, the little things, and Danley scores in the fast break here on a three-pointer, and now the Pacers are up by four. And late, they didn't go to Odin. I thought it was strange. They went to Cherry, and Cherry uh, went against uh, Semi Bayo, and Semi Bayo came up big uh, down the stretch, and Danley pretty much ices the game there with a three. And the Pacers would go on to win 109-101. to 101. Uh, Pacers shot well. They went to the line 23 times. Uh, Pacers, kind of like us, they turn it over a lot. So the Pacers improved to 5-2, and two, I think it is, and the Bulls 4-3. Uh, and three. You can see here that Odin had 26, 7-7. Seven, and seven. Red uh, had 15. Looks like Cherry had a 12-12 double-double. Pretty good game for, for them. I thought Odin could have played better. Danley had 30, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. Warwick had 28. Look at Kid there, 18 points, 10 rebounds. And Bayo, 11 rebounds, and he had two blocks. And he was uh, big down the stretch with the defense. So uh, Pacers are now tied with us, 5-2 uh, in the Eastern. Well, yeah, I guess that is the playoff picture in the Eastern Conference. And um, so the next game for us is against the Heat. We've already played that game, and we'll put that up. Uh, here in the next few days. So, is there anything about my league you want to know? Let me know in the comments. Uh, appreciate all the feedback from uh, the last video. I thought that one was pretty well received. Shout out to YouTube user Mr. T Money 1993. Uh, he's been friends uh, with me on PlayStation for a long time. He's always putting videos up. I think he's got a college series he's doing now. Uh, great to see you. And uh, 
catch the whole series, it's on my channel. I'll link to it at the end of the video here. I am Coach 2K. I'll see you on the court in the next video. Thanks for watching.